Forge Nation, welcome to Van Life. I'm at Tommy's Camper Vans in Phoenix, Arizona with our next sweepstakes rig. He's almost done. The interior is ridiculous. And this is my first time seeing it. Last time I dropped it off, it was just a couple seats and an empty shell and Tommy Camper Vans absolutely crushed the build. I'm here with Nate, uh, operations extraordinaire, one of the <laughs> first employees at Tommy Camper Vans. Yep. And he's gonna walk me through for the first time ever, the inside of our Sprinter van that we're giving away. Look at this. This is wild. Turnkey van conversion solutions to Tommy Camper Vans. You guys, we dropped it off, we told him what we wanted, and then this is my first time seeing it. This is nuts. Let me step up. It is. I'm six feet two, plenty of clearance. Hit if I stand up really tall, but I don't think there's that many people that are over 6'2". Very plush mattress here. And what else are we working with? We got the Dometic fridge. Dometic fridge, um, overhead cabinets, puck lights lit underneath and on the ceiling. We've got a max air fan in the front. We've got a fresh air evaporative cooler in the back. That swamp cooler. It's swamp cool cooler, yeah. Yep. Um, we're running a 3000 watt inverter in here. So more, more power than you could imagine you'd use. Um, this is your 12 volt systems control, water pump control up here. Um, we got 120 running up the, at the front. Um, an island table that comes out here and will set here when, once t the two seats are swiveled around. Nice. And the solar on top, we went with 200 or 400 watts? 200 watts. 200 watts, mm -hmm. solar on top. That's always going to be charging the batteries. What else do we have to do to this thing? Like how big is the water tank? You've got a 30 gallon freshwater tank. 30 gallon freshwater tank and then gray water. Gray water is in the sink at seven gallons. Seven gallons and that's super easy to dump. Easy to in and out, yep. Um, this thing is nuts. It is, it's just pretty. All right, what else, what else do we need to think about operating? How heavy duty is this as far as like off-roading capabilities and oh, everything it's, else? It's pretty sturdy construction. So good. all plywood built core on the inside. So it's yeah. gonna flex and move with the twist of the vehicle, but everything's staying together. Oh, I love this. It looks like it's nicer than my kitchen at home. <laughs> uh, what are we working with the burners? So How does the propane work? Uh, you've got a propane tank underneath that's going to operate similar to a barbecue grill. So push and light, um, two burner zone, and man, they crank out serious BTUs. So that is awesome. What is this guy? So that's going to be the control for your inverter there. Okay. Flip that on. These will kick on there. And then how do you monitor the battery levels? So this is gonna be your voltmeter there. Okay. So anything that's gonna dip below 11.8, your batteries will need to start recharging. That's a nice little propane tank in there. You got the just gray water. Empty that out. Plenty of storage space. Uh, this is gonna be epic and it just looks pretty. And we went with the mosaic tile. I love the look of it. Little detail here with the Forge logo. Had to let everyone know where you got it from. And what else? I mean, I feel like there's all sorts of- Well, we've got the, the access to the garage down there. That's yep. gonna be all your storage, electrical systems, water systems. And then right here, another pull out little table. pull out table. Oh, that is cool. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna work here. This is my new office, no big deal. The quality of these cutting boards is really nice. And you guys do everything here, right? Everything's built in house, yeah. Yeah, this is my first time seeing it since it was built. From the hardwood floors, the paneling on top, I love the contrast of color. It really makes the space look huge. Huge window right there. Added two more windows on the side. You got plenty of space. Oh, this is awesome, man. You guys absolutely crushed it. I can't wait to take it out, hit some trails. We're gonna put two inch lift on it, oh, some 33s, uh, probably some skid plates, a front bumper, a rear spare tire. It's gonna be awesome. pretty ridiculous. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So it should be fun, but I like it. The fridge is getting cold. Uh, it's hot outside, but we're gonna take this thing up to Flagstaff right away and see how it does. Check out the garage. The trim, you guys cleaned up the trim. All right, so we open up the back here. This is your garage where you're gonna store all of your goodies. 300, 3,000 watts? Yeah, 3,000 watt inverter. 
We got 300 amp hours. And it's so clean. That is great. So a couple plugs up there. Is there anything that you need to do? You just turn your inverter on and then... Yeah, flip the... In this, this is your shore power here. So that you can plug in if you're going to be at a campsite and you want to run directly uh, off that and not through your system. Nice. And then we have a uh, shower in the back. We opted for this so you have more space on the interior. And the reality is you could hang some drapes or something and have privacy. The reality is you're gonna be taking this thing to places that no one else is at, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, just sh shower in the back of your van. No big deal. This is to fill up the water tank. Yep, fill the water tank there. Fresh air tank is down there. Um, you've got your 30 gallon tucked away behind that. What is this? Uh, that's the, the fresh air reservoir. So the water that runs through the swamp cooler. Uh. Heck yeah. So how does that work? It's just a closed loop system? It's a that... closed loop system. So it'll bring it up. It uh, cools like a, uh, it's like a cooling pad that's around the whole thing, circulates air in yeah. and dumps it out. And then all the excess water that drips down into that reservoir comes back down into the tank. So it's cycling uh, that water all the way through. That's really cool. And we went with that over an air conditioning unit because the amount of power draw from the AC makes it so you have to be hooked up to shore power or you only get AC for a couple hours versus the swamp cooler is really going to cool things down, especially in like a desert environment. If you're in the south, it doesn't work as well, but it'll still cool it down a little bit. And the reality is, I don't know how many people want to go camping when it's 100 degrees in the south. Right. Uh, take it to the mountains and you'll be real nice. Yep. Sweet, man. Uh, we have two awesome scene lights on the back, two on this side. We're going to put an awning on it, spare tire. Big lift, big tires. You know how we do a Ford 4x4, a front bumper and a winch, and then I think it's done. So we still got some work to do, but the inside, you guys. Sweet. Absolutely crushed it. Yeah. So overall, the entire experience of Tommy Camper Vans has been top notch. They're professionals, and for a turnkey van conversion for under $40,000, you don't see that very many places. They have a production line, they do everything in house, and I love that. Really awesome people, and look at it the style, the functionality. And this thing is solid. So with the suspension, some off-road tires, you're gonna be able to send this on any BLM land. I wouldn't go rock crawling in it. It's still a van, but you could take it to some pretty far off places. Stay tuned as we now deck out the exterior of this beast to be named. You know the drill, go to forge4x4.com or click that like and subscribe bell icon. You'll be the first to know when we drop a new video on this awesome van build.